I'm Amy Herzog, knitting instructor at Craftsy.com, and I have a tip for you on swatching. Nobody really likes to swatch, but it's one of the most important things you can do if you want to wind up with a sweater that you love to wear. Not only is swatch important for gauge, but it's your chance to audition the yarn that you're using against the fabric that you want to create for the design that you're knitting. I recommend making large swatches that are easy to feel and play around with and washing them the way you're going to wash the finished garment so that you have a really good idea of the fabric you're going to end up with. To measure a swatch, make sure you're knitting a square that's at least five inches by five inches so that you don't get any wonkiness around the edges in your measuring. Here's how I measure my swatches. I take a ruler and put it as close to the center of the knitting where the stitches are more likely to be how they will be in my sweater and slowly and carefully count the stitches per inch. I like to count a full four inches because it's really easy to pretend to yourself that that quarter stitch doesn't exist if you're only measuring one or two inches. I then do the same thing for rows. Again, close to the middle of the piece. You do have a little flexibility with natural fibers to block your gauge slightly larger if it's required. One more thing to do, as you're knitting your sweater, make sure that you're continuing to check gauge to catch any changes due to your daily stress levels, what time of day you're knitting, or anything else that might be going on in your life. If you enjoyed that tip and want to know more about knitting fabulous sweaters, check out my class, Knit to Flatter, on Craftsy. <laughs>